How you doing? I'm Darren with Ash Kickin' Barbecue. If this is your first time to the channel, then welcome. If you've been here before, then welcome back. Today, we're talking ham. Christmas is right around the corner, and for a lot of people, that means they're cooking a ham. Now, what we have here is about a 10 pound hickory smoked ham. This thing is fully cooked. You could go ahead and pop it in your oven, warm it up that way, but let's be real, everything's better with a kiss of smoke on it. So we're gonna be cooking in our Pit Boss Austin XL today. We're gonna be running at 250 degrees. We're gonna be using Bear Mountain Cherry Blend pellets, and this thing's gonna be absolutely delicious. I gotta be completely honest, I'm not a huge ham fan, but we're gonna see if we can make this into something that even I enjoy. We're gonna be seasoning our ham with Sugar Daddy from Suckle Busters. It's nice and sweet, it's gonna give us a nice crust. And then towards the end of the cook, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna be glazing this ham with a peach bourbon glaze. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to make that, it's gonna be delicious. But without further ado, let's bring you in and show you exactly how we're gonna prep this ham. It's super easy. All right guys, so to prep this ham, the rub isn't gonna to wanna to stick to this ham real easy, especially since we patted it down dry. So we're actually gonna take a little bit of our peach sauce and we're just gonna rub it out on the outside, get a nice binder of it. It's not gonna take much. We just need a little something to tack up so we can get the rub to stick. So we're just gonna throw a little bit on there and we're just gonna go ahead and just spread it around with our hands. And if you haven't tried this peach sauce from Suckle Busters, man, it's some good stuff. It smells delicious already. So then we're gonna take our sugar daddy and we're just gonna go ahead and get some rub on our ham. We wanna make sure we pat it in, try and get it in between the crevices here, cause it is a spiral cut. So a lot of the hard work's already done for us. We're just gonna go ahead and get a nice coat on that ham. Man, this stuff smells good. And this sugar daddy's absolutely delicious. Actually, actually real good in cookies and desserts too. All right, you can see we got our ham seasoned up. That's all we gotta do. Super simple, ready to go. I'm gonna go outside and get the Pit Boss Austin XL fired up. We'll be running at 250 degrees. And I think I'm gonna throw a smoke tube with some cherry pellets in there just for a little bit of extra smoke on it for the first hour or so. But I'll meet you guys outside and show you the setup. All right, you can see we have our ham on. We got our smoke tube going with some cherry pellets in there. We're gonna let that go for an hour or two, but we're running at 250 degrees. We're just gonna let this go for an hour, come back and check on it. So I'll bring you guys back in an hour. All right, guys, it's time for our one hour check-in. You can see the ham is looking great. We're starting to get some really nice color. Still got our smoke tube going here. I'm gonna let that go another hour. Got a lot of good moisture still on the ham, so there's no need to spritz or anything like that. So I'm gonna let it go another hour and then we'll come out and check it. So we'll see you guys then. All right guys, so it's been another hour. We're sitting at two hours. You can see we have some really nice color here. It's looking good. Our smoke tube's just about out. So we're gonna go inside and make the glaze and we're gonna start glazing. I just checked the internal temp. We're sitting at 120 degrees. So we're gonna get our glaze made and then we'll start glazing this up. So we'll see you inside. All right guys, so to do our peach bourbon glaze, we're gonna go ahead and add a half a cup of peach preserves, a half a cup of Suckle Busters peach barbecue sauce, and a shot of bullet bourbon. So we're gonna go ahead and add our peach preserves first. And we're just gonna let these cook down. All right, so you can see here after a few minutes, it's starting to cook down. We got a few chunks of peach in there, but that's all right. So starting to thin down, starting to cook down. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add our half cup of the Suckle Busters peach barbecue sauce. And that's looking pretty good there. And then we're gonna go ahead and add our shot of bourbon. There we go. And we're just gonna go ahead and stir it up and continue to let it heat up. You can see it's really helped thin it down and those preserves are gonna give it a really nice glaze. The barbecue sauce is gonna give it some good color. But we're gonna go ahead and let this alcohol cook off a little bit. So I'll bring you back when it's just about done. 
All right, guys, so you can see after a few minutes here, things have really thinned down. It's looking like a nice glaze. We got some chunks of peaches in there. That's all right. You just want to make sure you cook off some of that alcohol, and you'll be able to smell it when it starts cooking off. It'll smell like bourbon in your kitchen, which, hey, that's never a bad thing. So give this a little taste test here. It's absolutely delicious. It's sweet. You can taste the bourbon, but it's not overpowering. It's just a nice little flavor punch to it. So let's get you outside, and let's glaze up this ham. All right, guys, our ham is looking good. We're going to go ahead and get it glazed. I'm just going to pull it out a little bit here. We're just going to kind of... Let it run all down here. Just go ahead and paint it up. And do this the whole way around. Try and get in these nooks and crevices. You can see it's looking really good here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and I'll bring you back in probably about 10 minutes when we glaze it again. All right guys, it's been another 10 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and glaze the ham again. And we're just going to go ahead and do this every 10, 15 minutes until we hit our 140 to 145 degrees internally. And then we're just going to let it tack up and then it'll be done. We're going to let it rest and then we'll slice into it. So I'm not going to bring you back every time I glaze this. I'll let you know the total time when it's time to slice into it. But I'm just going to keep doing this until it hits about 140 degrees internal. When I just checked it, we were sitting at about 134. So I'm just going to keep coming out and glazing it every 10, 15 minutes and checking it. And I'll see you guys uh, when it's time to slice into it and give it a try. So we'll see you guys in. All right, guys, and here it is. Here's our double smoked peach bourbon glazed ham. It smells absolutely wonderful. It just, it looks great. I just, I can't get over how great this ham smells and how good it looks. I'm super excited to try it. The total cook time was about three and a half hours. I think I glazed it once or twice more before bringing you guys back here now. Brought it up to 100 and it was about 142 degrees internal. I let it rest for about a half hour and that's it. I, I, I gotta try it now. There's just no more waiting. Like it just, I have to just try it right now. So I'm just gonna come in here and cut a little section there. We'll come over to this side here. We'll cut a little section out of here. And, oh man, look at, it's just absolutely juicy as can be. It looks delicious, it smells wonderful. Get that spread out there, a little bit right there. And this piece right here in the middle is calling my name, so let's give it a try. Mm. Man, that is absolutely delicious. It's sweet, it's smoky. You can taste a little bit of that bourbon in there, but it's not overpowering. It's just got like a nice flavor to it. This is this is a good ham. I'm I'm pretty happy with this. I would eat many ham sandwiches with this on there. That glaze, it's just it's so good. It's got you can taste the peach, but then on that back end you got the bourbon and it is it's really good. I'm I'm pretty proud of myself today because like I said, I do not like ham. This is wonderful. You guys, you should give this a try. I guarantee everyone's gonna love it so guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to like subscribe ring that bell stay safe and hey we'll see you next time